Hey, what's going on gamers? It's Swish Benoit from 24-7 Sim Gaming, and today we're going to be doing a very, very highly requested tutorial on how to add brand new clothes and textures to your GTA 5 single play experience to make you look fresh and new. And speaking of fresh and new, check out our partners at Louis Luxury with innovative fashion ranging from streetwear to high fashion. And while you're there, support us at 24-7 by grabbing some merch, including our brand new Let's Start the Sim shirts exclusively at louisluxury.com. And use promo code 247SG for up to 15% off your order. Now, as always, let's start the sim. All right, guys, so this is going to be a really, really simple tutorial. This is going to be an intermediate tutorial, meaning if you know how to use OpenIV and already know how to mod your GTA 5, that's including adding script hook and all the other ASI loaders and things you need, then this one's for you. If not, I will have a video linked down below that you can follow as well on how to add GTA mods to your single player game. So let's get right into it. Make sure to follow the links down below in the description and we're going to go right to our gene pack and this is going to be the Rockstar Coast Corsi faux jeans. Click that green download button. We're going to click it twice and this is going to take just a second to finish. So let's go ahead and open that up. And the next thing we need to do is go ahead and get our open IV or open four get that opened up make sure we click grand theft auto 5 and one of the main things we need to have a look at inside of here is the player one menu and i'm going to show you how to access this properly uh, a lot of tutorials will tell you to come over here to the left and to click the x64v rage plugin file you don't want to do that what you actually want to do is i copy all of these which you can at least just copy the x64v copy that into your normal mods folder so when you click that mods folder it'll be down here under your normal update x64 as you see i have everything pulled in there as well so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and locate our single player which is going to be x64 models cd images and we're going to go down to stream pads players and because this is for franklin we need to be at player one Let's give that a second. All right, so now that we have that opened up, let's go ahead and open our downloaded Rockstar Corsi jeans. And make sure you have WinRAR or WinZip or something to be able to unzip these folders. So let's open this folder up. We've got files and we've got download. And you always want to check these .txt, readme folders, whatever they'll be. They usually have some sort of instructions in here for you to be able to read. So now that we're inside of here, we've got two files and we've got the lower 20 UYDD and the lower diff 20 YTD files. And when you see a YDD file, that's going to be the actual texture itself. And when I say the actual texture, what I mean is the item that you're going to be using. So this is the actual pair of jeans and anything that's a YTD or PNG or anything else is going to be the actual texture you place upon the jeans. And these are always going to be separate, but you won't always see a YDD file inside of there because it may just be a texture image that you place on top. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and create a backup. Always want to back up these files and folders when you're switching them out to something different here. So I have a folder on my desktop called GTA backup. Do the same thing, create that, open it. I've got some of my LSPD off FR plugins in here and we have a folder called Franklin and inside my Franklin folder is where I place all of the original textures and files that I'm going to be replacing. So for this one, we're doing the YDD 20. And these are jeans, so it's always going to be lower. So lower 20 YDD, just simply drag it over. So we've got that base and then the lower 20 different YDD. So let's look for that here. And we've got lower 20 and we'll drop that over, which is just a texture file, but just this is the original texture. So you want to always make sure you have that. So now that we've done that, let's simply go ahead and drag and drop our YDD folder. Oh, make sure you're always on edit mode as well when you need to do something inside of the uh, OpenIV there. So let's go ahead and drag and drop our lower 20. 
all right guys and now that we have entered that ydd file let's go ahead and drop in the lower diff 20 ytd which is going to be the texture and we're simply just going to drag it over and drop it in and sometimes you will have the option to where you can replace the texture on the file which will be usually like a .dds file but it'll be it'll read the same so you'll just click whatever it is and then change the texture as you see i have a different texture in these right now so now we just need to go ahead and open up the game and get into our menu and switch over to these clothes all right guys so now that we are inside the game we just need to go ahead and open up our menu and head down to the legs tab once we are inside the legs we just need to simply pick the jeans item and the texture and that's going to be pretty much it as you see, you have the brand new jeans and there's the texture there added on looking really, really great. And that's it for this one. So if this video helps you in any kind of way, please make sure to click that like button. Most importantly, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any brand new tutorials for GTA 5, Red Dead, or any of the popular single player modding games. If you need any help modding your GTA 5, please make sure to join that Discord down below. And as always, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.